Hi, this is a quick video on using Grammarly for our class. So the first thing you'll have to do is make sure you've signed into Grammarly. Um, make sure that you sign up at grammarly.com slash edu slash sign up and use your college email. Because if you don't use your college email, um, then you won't get the premium edition. So um, make sure and do that. If you've already signed up with Grammarly before for their free edition and used your college email and it doesn't let you do that, then um, send me an email, make sure I have your college email and I can talk to our Grammarly guru. You'll know you have the premium edition because when you log in online to Grammarly.com, you'll see premium over here. Now, there are a couple of ways you can do this. You can upload a document. So once you finish typing with your documents, when you turn in your drafts and your finals, you're going to need to turn in a Grammarly report. This is one of your tools. You need to use it to make sure you're using it. I need to see that report. And of course, you need to use the basic advice there, too. If you turn in the Grammarly report and, you know, I mean, not everything's right. You have to read the comments carefully. But if you turn in a basic report, the report and it's clear you haven't used any of it, then what am I doing looking at it? I'm not going to waste my time. So it's minus points. And um, this is just about using your tools. Using your tools makes you look smart, and any grammar checker is part of those. So you can upload, or you can simply begin a new document if you just want to start um, by just typing in Grammarly. Because then you could paste it in Word. You can do you know, the typing in here, and then paste it in Word, all that. Notice over here there's a um, menu, and so um, you can download, you can upload the file. This would be downloading it as a doc, so a document so you could work on it here and then doc download it and format it. Um, editor settings, um, which gives you some um, settings for, th um, for things. Um, and then there are also things like um, checking for like what you're looking for, so your goals. So if you are writing for, say, a general audience or a knowledgeable audience, an expert audience, in your cover letters it should be a general audience. Um, pretty neutral, or in your business letters, um, business or general will work there. And of course, tone, I uh, would go with neutral, confident, something like that. And you don't have to mark any of these. These are experimental. Um, for your essays, you're either going for knowledgeable or expert. If you're writing for general English class, knowledgeable. If you're writing for biology, a biology paper for your biology class, then we would be more an expert. And of course, you're either growing neutral to formal, depending on what that is. And of course, if it's for college, it's academic. Um, so, you know, when I start a new one, I have it set to set those goals. So you can set those, and then that way it kind of helps you with that. And I do find that kind of helpful. Um, correctness, of course, it's showing us there aren't any things here. Um, Anyway, that's kind of really the only settings I advise you um, set before you get started. Now, the key thing is, is once you get this done, you're going to want to um, get your report so that you can turn that in to me because that's part of your grade. So once you get it done, um, as you're going through, it will provide you with, um, you know, advice. And you need to read it thoroughly because it's a computer. So it's going to do what it's best, um, and here it's you know giving you advice on style, sound more diplomat diplomatic, gives you some um, options, things like that. Um, you know some of the grammar stuff is going to be spot on. Some of it again you have to read. Does it make sense? Places where it says repetitive. Well, if you're writing an essay about a certain topic, yes, you're going to repeat some of the same words. So sometimes. You need to read it out loud, and you'll hear that sound. Sometimes it is repetitive, um, and it doesn't sound right. You want to change it up. Sometimes it's repetitive, and that's part of the style. You're creating that style in that. And then sometimes um, it's it's okay. Um, so those those kinds of things you'll go through as you type and write. And then in the end, what it'll do is it'll give you this score. And so to get your report, what you want to do is click on your overall score. And notice here at the bottom, and if you don't see the bottom of this, you may have to use your um, up and down keys on your uh, keyboard. 
Um, I had to do that on my laptop because it wouldn't show the whole screen. So you may have to use those keys. And at the bottom of this box is download PDF report. And it will create a PDF report of this. And um, that's what you download. And when you turn in your essay, you can just save it as, you know, report, um, let's see, um, critical analysis, you know, would, or whatever you want to save it is. And you'll save it as a PDF. And then um, when you turn in your assignments, it will be one of the, the documents that you turn in. So um, that's um, how you're going to find that Grammarly report. Again, remember to go to Grammarly.com slash edu slash sign up so that you're signing up for the right um, at the right place. Don't do the continue with Google. Use your college email and password, you know, create an account that way. And if you have any trouble with that, let me know.